Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. What I thought I would do is follow up my last video with a little bit more in-depth example about dividend payout ratio. Uh, some of you guys were asking what exactly a dividend payout ratio is with uh, more specific examples. So I thought I would bring up Ford here and kind of detail what exactly a dividend ratio is. So as I was talking about in my last video, uh, payout ratio is essentially the proportion of earnings paid out uh, from a company to its shareholders in the form of a dividend, typically expressed as a percentage. Uh, the dividend ratio can also be expressed as dividends paid out as a proportion of cash flow. That gets a little more difficult to understand, so for the purposes of this video, you can really think about this as what sort of earnings are given to the shareholder from the company from its earnings that it makes per year. Uh, and like I said, there's a number of different ways to calculate this, but the easiest way is simply taking the yearly dividend per share and dividing that by earnings per share over a year. And that'll give you the dividend payout percentage. And that's important because really this percentage is a key metric, a key financial me metric used to determine the sustainability of a company's dividend payment uh, over time, which is very important, especially for investors who would like to hold stocks longer term uh, to realize the tax benefits from uh, doing that, getting preferred dividends and paying a much uh, lower tax rate than would uh, normally be paid if uh, holding for the short term. So if you want a company that's going to have a dividend, a sustainable dividend, a dividend that grows, and a dividend that's going to be there as uh, you hold the stock. So coming back to Ford here, uh, these are some metrics I got online. You can find these pretty much anywhere online uh, they're all publicly available for almost every company actually every company that's tradable on Robinhood I typically go into my e-trade account to find these metrics We can see here on the left uh, payout ratio percentage and then if we go through the different years here you can see 14.1 24.6 so on and so forth each year that a dividend was paid and you can see for these years here with the uh, market crash, Ford was not able to offer dividends, so obviously there was no dividend payout ratio there. But you can see that Ford's dividend payout ratio is anywhere from 14 to 52 percent. And that's important because payout ratios that get too large are very difficult to sustain over the long term. And uh, typically a company who can provide a 35 to 60 percent or so dividend payout ratio is a very solid company that's going to have a very reliable dividend, a very sustainable dividend over the long term. Any dividend that's higher than that, 75 to 100, is very uh, difficult to sustain over the long term. There are some caveats, like I said on last video, um, some biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies, some telecom companies, some utility companies can uh, offer higher dividend payout ratios without a huge burden on their bottom line. But for most companies, dividend payout ratios between 35 and 60 percent is very good. Anything above that, is very difficult to sustain and anything above a hundred percent is simply not sustainable because basically the company is giving back to the shareholder more than it's earning so over time that's going to erode their uh, uh, any cash savings they have and uh, they simply wouldn't be able to maintain that so 35 to 60 is good for certain sector companies they can go up to 90 or so percent but over a hundred is not sustainable at all and I've kind of detailed that through some of the closed-end funds or CEFs that I've talked about in the past, uh, PIMCO comes to mind, that have dividend payout ratios like 150, 175 percent, which over the long term simply isn't going to be maintained. Uh, so again, dividend payout ratio, it's expressed as a percentage. And you can see uh, for Ford here, it's very good. 14, 24, 31, 49, 33, 52.2. Again, it's relatively new dividend, but I think moving forward, Ford really doesn't have any uh, worries about not supplying that dividend. They're very financially stable right now. So this is a company that I think will have a great dividend moving forward and a dividend that, that I think will grow as well. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about dividend payout ratio. I hope this kind of solidified exactly what this is uh, and why it is important for dividend investors, especially those dividend investors who hold stocks longer term to get the uh, preferred tax rates from preferred dividends. So if you guys have any questions about uh, any of the things I talked about in this video, let me know in the comment thread below. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to put out a video, a little bit more detail about dividend payout ratio. So kind of with that, I'll end the video. Uh, as always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. 
the whole point of these videos is to learn about investing not only for myself but I hope you guys are getting something out of this video and out of my video series following along if you guys have any good video uh, suggestions any good ideas anything that you're not quite up to speed on or have questions about let me know and I can put a video out about that that's the whole again the whole purpose I'm putting out these videos so let me know let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios as well for next week and yeah yeah kind of with that not to make this video too long I'll kind of end it there and we'll see you guys next video